message on it. You know, sometimes football coaches think like movie studio honchos. When in doubt, stick with the tried and true, the proven formula, because sequels do sell. Just look at this year. You got Men in Black 2, Spy Kids 2, Gold Member, Star Wars. Big year for sequels. Now, tonight, the red carpet rolls out on yet another sequel. Will it be a blockbuster like Godfather 2, or will it be Meatballs 2? We sent Curry Kirkpatrick to check out the buzz. In the year 2001, Oregon Football Productions gave you Quack, the biggest action film of the year. Quack, starring Joe Harrington on a New York billboard, broke all sorts of hype and hip records last year. It was an attempt to get attention to the program, and I think it worked. This fall, get your feet wet again as Mighty Duck University Films presents Quack Back. Now comes a sequel, starring a brand new action hero, Keenan Howry, gazing down on New York's Great White Way. Keenan Howry, Receiver Duck. Will you feel like you're a star already? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's one of being a star, you know, being a starstruck or whatever. I'm just, I'm just real, you know, happy to be there. Did the guys rag you at all about it? Oh, definitely. They start calling me big time, and when I got back, there were a whole bunch of notes on my locker. Uh, I had my name on a, a on a list for football stuff, and they crossed out some, a comment that was right next to it and wrote, we're back. In a supporting role, Jason Fife, QB Duck. We're back. Every chance we get, you know. Hey, we're back. Makes a good play. Hey, we're back. All right. Let's get on it. What about Quack Back? That's the sequel. I don't really want to call it a sequel because, yeah, sequels really haven't been known to be very successful. Uh, it is kind of a, a new identity, you know. I look at it more as a, a different kind of genre, really, than last year. Directed by Mike Bellotti. Is that something that people would like? Do you think they'd go see the sequel? Absolutely. I think they should. I think the Quack Attack is back and they should see it in person. But will Quack Back, the sequel, be as successful as Quack, the original? Nobody knows. That's why we went straight to our sneak previewers. There are sequels and there are sequels. If you like Quack, you're gonna love Quack Back. Two thumbs up for Quack Back. <laughs> Oregon football hasn't skipped a beat with the new flip Quack Back. Stay tuned for Access Hollywood as we go behind the scenes with the Ducks and reveal next year's billboard site. Uh, thank you, Pat, for dropping by. The Ducks have taken the pub campaign at Tinseltown right in the backyard of the Trojans. I'm trying hard. And, uh, I mean, that's the way they've, they've decided to go about it, you know. I don't think there's a building big enough in Eugene for us to put a billboard up, so we won't do that. Oh, the little shot at Eugene, yeah. one of your favorite places. Yes, sir. Pat O'Brien, Ann B. Davis, Larry King. You don't know what you're going to get here. What are you going to get from the Oregon offense with, with old Jason Fife and they're replacing Harrington? He's got a lot of talent around well, him. Well, you know, the last year's star was Joey Harrington, but this year's star is going to be a running back named Ontario Smith. Now, when you see this guy, watch his quick feet and wonderful balance. As he takes off down the line, number two, he makes quick feet. Watch this. Now, here's my favorite. He has wonderful speed. He'll see the hole right there. Zip, and there he goes, right through the hole. This kid's a wonderful football player. Now, the Ducks will win this ball game because it's played in beautiful downtown Eugene in Otson Stadium, which is, per person, the loudest football station stadium in the nation. Otson Stadium is a wonderful place. I'm going with the Ducks. Yeah, and they've added to it. You know, people are concerned about Joey Harrington and this offense this year without him. Relax. In the last six years, that goes back before Joey Harrington, They've averaged 36 points. They get it done. It's the system. I'm predicting right now that Jason Fife will have a heck of a year, and the Oregon Ducks are going to win the Pac-10. He has incredible personnel around him. Lee just mentioned Ontario Smith. He's got mm -hmm. some of the best receivers in the Pac-10. The offensive line's experience. Oregon's going to win the Pac-10, and this Jason team. Fife's going to have a heck of a year. I know you guys liked Oregon before, but the news out of Mississippi State, Kevin Fant, their starting quarterback, suspended for this ball game That's as really they look ugly. into whether or not he received an illegal benefit back in April, a set of tires from a booster, so he's not going to play. That's critical. The first college snap ever for redshirt freshman quarterback Kyle York at Autzen. Tough place. It's going to be a tough <laughs> night for the Bulldogs unless he really shows.